Hi there, welcome back to Daytime. I'm Katherine Clark filling in for TL and Stuntman Stu, of course, filling in for Derek. Stuntman Stu is, in fact, looking like he's about to chug a bunch of pills. And that's because we're talking longevity medicine and uh, boosting brain uh, brain power. And oh, you're, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I do too. And you're a naturopathic doctor oh, and yeah. a wellness consultant. Yeah. That's a fascinating uh, area of... Um, of medicine these I mean it's really a very interesting and booming industry I think it is when I first started practicing in 91 I used to have to explain to everybody what naturopathic medicine was before I got started but now people are asking me you know we'll be at a party oh can you help me with this can you help me with that does that yeah. get tiresome that people always want to have your uh, advice you know what I love to educate and I love what I do and I love to help people understand the connections that exist in the body and that's a large part of why I'm doing this wellness consulting. So what we do is we highlight a different health topic every month mm -hmm. and we try and help people understand about the health connections and what they can do to help themselves. So what do we have here today? We have, I can't even pronounce this, <laughs> ginkgo phyosis. What is this? Well, you know, there's, um, there, there's a lot to talk about when we talk about longevity right. medicine, and there's a lot of different products that are out there on the shelf. When you visit the health food store, you might see products such as these. Um, you know, if I'm to highlight a little bit about each product, it's, it's important to understand what what makes us uh, um, have optimal brain power and body power. And, and can I ask you, when you're talking about longevity, are you talking about basically adding years to our life, or are you talking definitely. about longe longevity of certain parts of us, like our brain only, or? It's all connected. Okay. So, you know, products such as these, for example, this is called Quench FX, and this one has lots of antioxidants in it. And in particular, I brought this one, because this one has um, uh, polyphenols and reservatrol, as well as alpha lipoic acid and the most latest research is really exciting about these nutrients and reservatol is actually also found in red wine so a lot of people say you know a glass of red wine can help me sure. in terms of my cardiovascular and my thinking and so forth yes well research has actually shown that there are health benefits that do exist with reservatrol that can improve cognitive function and prevent cardiovascular disease so that's pretty exciting you know right and uh, so, so how I'm many not, glasses of red yeah. wine would I be able to drink <laughs> Good, great question. Well, in actual fact, the research studies are based on the equivalent reservatrol amount that equals about a thousand cups of, uh, or glasses of red wine. A week? <laughs> I hope not. Oh my God, that sounds fantastic. So, yeah, Sign me so, up. I mean, it's going to definitely help if you have things like berries, if you have things like peanuts. Uh, rhubarb is actually really high in reservatrol as mm. well. Um, and you would need to have a lot of wine to get a, a really high quantity. So, if cognitive function memory is a concern, I would recommend that we go to a standard product that has a, uh, a higher quantity. Do you take it. that with food? This one, this one has a lot of herbals in it, so it would be taken between a meal. So each one is going to be a little bit different as to how it's recommended. Okay. Uh, other products that you might see on the shelf, uh, this particular product is called Cognisure. This one is high in polyphenols. And research again shows that uh, longevity as well as cognitive function can be significantly improved. They, this one's really well researched, it's well uh, studied, and they've seen improvements in markers of speed and reliability and accuracy in cognitive Which function. Which one can I try? Well, you know, again, I, I typically nice. recommend that each person... We were person told we would eat today. <laughs> There's been no food on this show yet. Right. I'm well, in you know meals. what? Um, again, I'd have to learn a little bit more about you to oh, make I'm the best recommendation. If you haven't figured out everything about me by now, <laughs> you're not doing your job. I would I'm say as simple that, as they come. I would say that the Quench FX is a general antioxidant. It's not going to be contraindicated in very many individuals, and it would be an easy one for you to try. Does so. it ever react? Um, do any of these uh, ever react with people's medication that may be yes. prescribed by family physicians? Yes. Yeah, definitely. So each one of these products has a nutraceutical impact, which can potentially interact with pharmaceutical medications. Right. So you do want to check with a naturopath or your physician or a pharmacist before you start any particular program. And what's the dangers of somebody going online and, and thinking that they can bypass you? Yeah. And, and then walking into a store and saying, I need one of these, I need two of these, and I need five of these. Exactly. Same thing like anything else. If you don't have a customized program that fits you, you may potentially be doing some 
damage or concern by using things in interaction that don't work well together. You mentioned off the top that you started this in 1991. Yeah. In all these years since then, how much has it changed? It's grown by leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. Naturopathic medicine is the fastest growing profession in North America right now, mm -hmm. and people are asking us about all kinds of things in terms of health prevention. My passion is to help people become educated on the health connections. So when we talk about brain power, it's, it's easy for me to suggest this, but I would need to understand what are your health connections because Brain power and body power is related kind of to seven phases in health, and I call them the health wellness spectrum. So first of all, we have the nervous system, and when that begins to shift and become out of balance, that impacts the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands produce epinephrine, norepinephrine, cortisol. A lot of people mm. are talking about that hormone. When that hormone elevates, what happens is then you have interruptions in sleep. And how many people are not so sharp because they're just lacking sleep? As you were saying, you've got kids and you're waking up in the middle of the night. I'm just using the kids as, as an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but cortisol should naturally fall down as you head into a sleep pattern. But for somebody who gets awoken at night, that cortisol all of a sudden rises. Mm. So there's, a, um, there's a, a shift that's taking place that naturally shouldn't. So as the adrenal gland begins to be impacted, that sets a pattern that impacts the digestive system, which sets somebody up for hypoglycemia, food sensitivities, and reactions, which again can affect how you're thinking. If, if anybody suffers from allergies, they know that during allergy season they're feeling more tired, they're just not able to think and perform as well. That next it affects the liver and free radicals and that's why we are talking about antioxidants and why they're so so important uh, because free radical damage is one of the first markers that occurs in any chronic degenerative disease. So yeah. how can people get a hold of you? They just the website? <laughs> website optihealth.ca or 829-7100. I'm going to take a few of these. Yeah, you very much. You should do. Thank you. I think we all need the antioxidants. So you take that one. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Up You're next welcome. We're going from this to our good friend Marcel Mundell from Chateau Montebello to make some drinks.